Okay. Uh, let me see. If I had a land, I would keep this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not a single land. I have mostly lands, but I think I'm okay with that. Yeah, I think I need to go like up one land or something. How many lands do you have? I have 21 right now. No, you're fine. Are we doing mulligan rules? Yep. Alright. Let's see. Land. Okay, I got three lands. I will... I got one too many lands now. I'll put that back. Up to the bottom. Alright. Uh, are we rolling or do you mean just randomize? Uh, randomize. Okay, uh, randomize. One, two, three, four. Uh, I guess you're going first. Okay. Or you can, I guess, choose. Or oh, whatever. I don't know. Misty Rainforest. Pass. Alright, uh, draw. Um, this hand is very awkward. Uh, Aether Hub. Use my thing for red uh, Falcon Leaf Gorge and pass. On your end, stop crack misty rainforest. Mm -hmm. Or a snow covered island. This weird box on my screen. Uh, I don't worry about it. Alright, it's your turn. Mm. Oh, I didn't. So, how did I? No, I did not. Okay. I will play a windswept heath and I will pass. Alright, untap to keep it all. That's slightly better. Um swamp. Would you be able to refocus your camera? Uh, I don't think I have a refocus. Uh, you can you can like put your hand up to it and just have it focus on your hand as you like bring your hand down. I don't that even, works on mine sometimes. I don't even think it even has a focus function. Dang. 
Because, like, I can't even click on those cards to have it be brought up in really? the side on spell table. Works fine for mine. I just clicked on my dude and it just came up. Weird. Huh. Maybe it's like a connection issue or something. Hmm. Well, this is Falcon Reef Gorger. If you want, you can type it in. Uh, swing to it, you. All right. Uh, no blocks. Uh, pass. On your end step, I will pay one and crack windswept teeth. And grab. Oh, I'm getting so destroyed. <laughs> I've got such a shitty hand. A snow covered forest. And I will flash in Ice Fang Codal. When it enters the battlefield, I draw a card, and it has Death Touch as long as I control three or more uh, snow, other snow permanents. And uh, yeah, it's a one with one with flying. Mm -hmm. All right, untap, draw. Snow covered planes, so it now has death touch. And I will attack you for one. I will take one. Okay. Pass turn. Untap, draw. Uh, God damn it. So it's gonna have to wait. Uh, play a mountain. Tap two for a Rakdos headliner and swing five. And mm. pass. Hold on. Okay. I am going to pay two and flash in Ice Fang Codal. Yeah. I draw a card. Okay. And then I will block your 3-3. Three, three. Right. It dies. And I will take two. I play Temple Garden tapped. And then pass. All right, on tap. Oh, keep draw. Um, Urza Saga. Mm -hmm. uh, pay three to put Lois into my hand. All right. And Pass. 
drop return. I play a flooded strand and pass. Tap. Let's go to two. Uh, keep draw. Ugh. Keep draw on lands. Um. Play a mountain. Actually, wait, do I want to play a mountain? Do I want to play? Hmm. So I have two colors, so I have me blue or black. Hmm. I'll play black. One for a ravenous scroll. Okay. Okay. Draw. I put breeding pool into play tapped. I will prismatic ending your squirrel. Response, I'm gonna village race it, sack it, fall to. Alright. Attack for one. Uh, I will take one. Pass. Uh, oh, whoops. I have to add these two tap, right? On your instead of mm -hmm. making a uh, construct. Forgot about that. Um, so one, one. Untap, upkeep, draw. Um, I will make another one. And then this will go to three in sack, and then I will search for a card. What do I want? I want to get a cookbook, but I think I need to get an oven.
Eleven. Play a mountain. Uh, I will pay a red and I will claim the firstborn. Your death touch you flyer, dude. Okay. And then I'll attack you with three. Uh, do two, four, five. Attack you for five. Take five. And then second main, I'll sacrifice your your dude for food. This one's untapped, these are tapped. Uh, not gonna do that. There you go. Two red mana. Um I will pass. Yeah. Pass. Okay. I have oh, these are three threes. Actually, no, they're four fours. Now, uh, I miscounted. Uh, he was a, this was a three three when I attacked because I had the eleven out. Mm -hmm. The construct was a three three when I attacked because I had eleven out. Forgot about that. So do I take more? One more, yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. I play a snow covered planes. Alright. I cast Sword of Feast and Famine. Okay. Pass. Untap. Tap upkeep draw. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, tap one colorless for Underwood Cookbook. Mm -hmm. Tap three for Lois. Actually, do I want to do that? Pay uh, one for Flooded Strand. Not long for this world. Subtlety. Return to my hand. Or uh, choose up to one target creature spell or planeswalker spell. Its owner puts it on the top or bottom of their library. Okay. I'll put it on top. Um. It's okay though. You can attack me and I lose. Yeah. I swing a bunch. Yeah, I drew way too many lands. <laughs> yeah, I I didn't draw any of my you know, ovens or cookbooks. I just had all the stuff I wanted to discard a sacrifice. But I had uh Near Knight, Root Baller, and Unearth in hand. Mm -hmm. I was saving Unearth in case you killed Lois. Oh, no. Um, I I would have definitely just uh, hit Luris with fucking... Well, I, well I, had, I had oven to sack it if you would, like, exile it or something. You can only do that once. True. I had a plan. True. If you double exile, then I couldn't do anything about that. But, 
Are we doing game? Are we doing three games or just doing best of one? Three games. Okay. I don't play control without a sideboard. Yeah, my sideboard is kind of bad for this deck right now. But uh, let's see. I'll put those two. Put those two in there. I actually took out the combo that I put in here because of the Asmo decks, but you don't have the kind of Asmo deck that I put the combo in here for that. Yeah. So, like, of course, Asmo can just turn the corner and take infinite turns with Time Sieve. And so I was like, well, I want to do that first. And so I put in the Eternal Witness Time Warp package. <laughs> It's like if someone's gonna be taking infinite turns, it better be me. Yeah. All right. Get to reset your life total. Alright, uh, are you done? Yep. Did you shuffle? Yep. Play order. One. No, you get to cheese because you lost. Oh. You, you mean I won? Or wait, no, I get to cheese because I lost. Okay. Yeah, you um, yeah I'm going to go first. Okay. I'm going to play. Oh, do you already have a uh, hand? Yeah, I have a hand. Okay, let's see if I have a hand. Oh, keep a little hand. 
lot of lands. Um, but I guess it's okay. God, this is fucking terrible. Do I roll though? Uh, I'm gonna mold in this hand. I'm going second anyways. Is that dragon from a magic card, or is it just some random play mat? Uh, I think it's just a random play mat. I just ordered it off Amazon. I saw, I saw a dragon, I'm like, ooh, cool. <sighs> I'll keep this hand. I'll put this to the bottom. Uh, All right. Flooded strand. Pass. Draw. Ooh, that is nice. Swamp. Uh, tap for one. Inquisition of Kozilek. Timely reinforcements. Stoneforge Mystic. Cursed Totem. <laughs> Ephemerate. Subtlety and windswept teeth. Oh man, that is that is a bad. Wasn't hand. this just a delicious hand? <laughs> so uh, I can only hit three, right? Timely reinforcements means four, I think. What's the CMC of timely? Three. Three. Oh, so I can't hit that. Um. Uh, I I think I have to take Coast Totem because he just fucks me. So I'll take Coast Totem. Fair enough. I would like to Hopefully I find the other one. Yeah. Uh and then uh pass. I've crack flooded strand. I need to get one more inquis inquisition of Kozilek. Kozilek. There. Hallowed fountain tapped. Tap. Play. Windswept teeth. Uh, oh, wait, no, I draw first. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, and. Pass. Right. Untap. Upkeep draw. Uh, I will play Mountain. I will pay one black to cycle Baron more. Mm -hmm. Draw a card. And then I will pay one red to cast Asmo. And I will hmm. search for Underworld Cookbook because I actually remember to do that. And then I'll pass. You know, every time I've casted Asmo, I forget that she, has, she also tutors for <laughs> Cookbook. So I will cl crack windswept teeth. Okay. Probably should have played affinity. For a 
snow colored plane covered planes. I guess it's also snow colored. I play Flooded Strand. Hey, two. Stoneforge Mystic. Mm -hmm. She there. Cauldra complete. Okay. Stoneforge Mystic doesn't auto equip, right? Um, it puts the equipment onto the battlefield if I pay two and tap her. Right, but I mean, it doesn't just auto equip, it only puts on the battlefield. No, but Cauldra complete has living weapon. Oh, uh, yeah. And I took out like one of my claim the first ones. Pass. Maybe just go to the counter so you can tap. Okay. Uh, untap. Cheap draw. Two. That's nice. Uh, I'll place Oborg. Um, go to combat and swing three at you. No blocks. All right. Do you take the three? Okay. Uh, main phase two. Tap one for Underwood Cookbook. Mm -hmm. And then pass. Okay. Drop return. Waterlogged Grove. I fucked up. Gonna read cookbook real quick. Okay. <sighs> okay. A white prismatic ending asmo. Village rights. Sackage. Okay. And then I will pay one life. So you add blue. A two. Tap Stoneforge Mystic. Mm -hmm. Cauldra complete. Yep. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and attack you for five. Does it have haste? Yep. It does have haste. Yep. Uh, I will uh, tap this to discard a card. I'll discard the uh, Cauldron Familiar. Mm -hmm. Make a food. And then I'll sack that food to bring out Cauldron Familiar and block it. You take one Okay. Damage, I gain one life. And okay. I'll take four because it has trample too, right? Uh, that gets exiled. Oh shit, you're right. Plus five, plus five. First strike, trample, indestructible, haste, and whenever this creature deals combat damage to a creature, or uh, exile that creature. Okay, I'm not going to block it then. <laughs> forgot about that. Okay, so you take five. I'll take five. 
Yeah, I, I messed up. I could have killed the Stoneforge Mystic on my turn, and I didn't. I mean, you know that I have Ephemerate, right? You saw that in my hand. Oh, right. Okay, so I couldn't have killed it. But I could have made yeah. you at least use that, I guess. Yeah. Um, Pass. Alright, on your own step, I'm gonna cycle Baron more. Uh, untap. Draw. Uh, that is a good draw. No, wait, fuck the destroys. God damn it. Ugh. Ether Hub Swamp for a Ravenous Squall um. Pass. Drop return. <sighs> Pay two for a breeding pool. Cast Ephemerate on Stoneforge Mystic. In response, I'm gonna Blazing Vault. Uh, unholy Heat her. It's gonna deal six damage. Alright. And then. Dies, but now that I have less creatures than you, I can cast I take one. See, timely reinforcements. Okay. If I have less life than an opponent, I gain six life. And if I control fewer creatures than an opponent, put three one one uh humans uh no just soldiers onto the battlefield. And I will attack for five. I'll take five. Pass. On your end step, I'm going to discard a swamp to make a food. 
uh, oh, I can't do that. I need the mana. I don't have oven. And then I'll untap and go to my turn. Hmm. Insolent Neonite. Mm -hmm. Um. Discard a card, feed the swarm, sack it, draw a card, put a counter on Squally Boy. Um, then I will. Pass. Hunter. Draw. Land for turn. I will pay one. Tap and sacrifice Waterlock Grove to draw a card. Attack for five. I'll take five. Okay, pass. On your end step, uh, discard a card. I'll discard this Blazing Gootwalla. Mm -hmm. And then it'll go to exile, and I will cast it for its madness cost. Mm -hmm. I will get another food token. And I will use uh, one of my energy counters and tap three, sack the cat to draw a card. Get a count on that. Sack of food to bring the cat back. Get another counter. Mm -hmm. And you'll lose a life, I'll gain a life. Then I will go to my turn. I will untap. Draw. Whack those headliner. I will um, sack Flooded Strand. Hmm. So grab a Snow Covered Island. I will pay for. You guessed it. So top or bottom? Yep. I'll put it on the bottom. Um How big is subtlety? It's a three three. Three three. I will swing the Ravenous Squall and uh, Cauldron Familiar at you. No blocks. Alright, taking five. Yep. And... Hmm. Pass. No, I'll just cast this other Underworld cookbook, then pass. Okay. Whoops. Hmm. Land per turn. Swinging for eight. Subtlety as flying. 
block with the blazing root roller. Okay. And then die. Yeah. Oh, I should have. Last card in hand was an ephemerate. In, I don't think I was winning that game. No. Calder complete is pretty brutal. Yeah, that's hard to beat. And I like. I had to face that in in limited, and I was like, oh, well, I'm staring at prismatic endings and um, some other card that was removal. It's like literally nothing in my deck beats Calder complete, and then every single opponent. Uh, every single game of the whole limited tournament, my opponent had called her complete. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, across... You told me, you told me about yeah, that. Yeah, that was so stupid. <laughs> oh, I guess I forgot the rebound trigger for Ephemerate. Uh, it didn't... Um, it didn't go into... It didn't go into rebound. It didn't go into rebound or exile because I killed the zone forge, so it should have fizzled. I think. Mm -hmm. It's not like it mattered. I wasn't gonna exile my germ. All right, game three. I still have no idea how to sideboard for this deck. Yeah, sideboarding's hard. I usually look it up, but it's kind of hard to do that when I came up with the deck myself. Yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> like my Boggles deck, it's a lot easier because it's like, oh, you, you have Burn or Discard? I'm getting all my Leylines, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, anything that stops that. Or, like, I, I don't know about Affinity, but that, that one would probably be pretty easy, too. Anything that, anything, if there's any... Yeah, with Affinity, you really just don't want to side out your artifacts unless you have to. Well, so if there's if there's a non-artifact that you can side out for the silver bullet that you're siding in, then you can do that. Otherwise, I think the entire try deck, not to. The entire deck except two is artifacts, I believe. Yeah. And then I have Ozo Saga. But I only have one copy of Saga. Um... But like the only thing that I, the main thing that I need to board, board again, board in against is like artifact hate. Mm -hmm. So like I have stuff to stop like stony signs and stuff. Yeah. As we've discussed. So do I choose the order now? Yep. Depending on my hand, uh, oh boy. Or do I get to look at my hand first and then decide? I actually don't know. You'd think that I would know because I played Arena so many times. Yeah. But for now, I don't care. Well, I'm just going to go first. Because I haven't gone first all game and... I just want to see how Actually, I wouldn't know because of Arena, because the best of one, it just chooses for you. Yeah, but there is, there is best of three. I just don't remember the ordering. Yeah, I, I just don't play that. <laughs> well, I'm going to go first anyways. I already kind of yeah. looked at my hand, but, um... Uh... Urborg. Inquisition of Kozilek. Endurance. Ice Fang Kotal. Prismatic Ending, Stoneforge Mystic, and Three Lands. Uh, Stoneforge Mystic. Alright. And 
and then pass. Draw for turn. Flooded strand. Pass. Untap upkeep draw. Ah, it's not exactly what I wanted. Um Aether Hub. Uh, let's use that for red. Insolent Neonite. Mm -hmm. um, s discard, sack him. Discard Blazing Root Walla. Go to Madness. Cast cast it for his Madness cost. Such a good card. Draw for one black. Uh, Asmo. I'll See now that's the kind of hand that I was telling you. Like you wanna, yeah, <laughs> you wanna fucking go off. Uh, Unwood cookbook to hand pass. Um, flooded strand. Well, in like all my other hands, I've just been like land screwed, and I don't like to mulligan pass like the first mulligan. Wait, what do I have in my hand again? Okay. Snow covered island. <sighs> Draw for turn. No covered planes. I wish there was an Urborg for Ed. <laughs> they won't because of Valkut. They already said that. Yeah. They won't do uh, Urborg for Red because of Valkut. Uh, blue because of Boil. And then there's like a similar card to Boil for planes as well. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, Prismatic ending your Asmo. Exiled. And pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. Um, Underworld cookbook. Swamp. Two for Dwarfy Voidwalker. Hmm. Uh, attack you for one. Take one. And then pass. On top, draw. Wind swept teeth. Crack wind swept teeth. Snow covered forest. Would you ever consider running the um the snow duels from Coldheim? I thought about it. Like you can run like a like two you know, couple. Just if you have like nothing to play you can get you can get those. Um, then the reason why I don't is because of counterspell. I need lands that come into play untapped in case I need to counter something on two. Okay. Um, pass. Untap. Draw. Um, swing four. Ice Fang Codal. Draw a card. Okay. Block Void Walker. You can't. It has shadow. Oh, I can't. Dang. You can That's right. A blazing Root Walla.
No blocks. Okay. Take four. Mm -hmm. Um. Hmm. I think I will just pass. I don't know if I should try and if I should get a fourth void walker. Thinking about it. Breeding pool. Pass. On your end step, I will discard a card. I'll discard this cauldron familiar. And mm -hmm. I'm just gonna sack the food and bring it back. So okay. you lose a life, I gain a life. Um so before you sack your food. No, uh, never mind. Uh, wait, what's in your graveyard right now? Uh, Insolent Neonite and Inquis Inquisition of Kozilek. Wait, why didn't I put Lois in the hand? God damn, I'm stupid. Alright, just wondering. Okay. I made a dummy move. It's okay, I did too. Are you done after that? Yep. Untap. Draw. Uh, tap one, Inquisition of Kozilek. And response. I am going to cast. Oh, I can't even cast this. What am I doing? <sighs> I need more red lands, I think. And. Never mind. I'm just going to cast uh, Ice Fang. Okay. Draw a card. I'm going to concede. Really? Yeah. What did you have in your hand? Calder complete. Anything else? It doesn't matter. You would have discarded my Calder complete and then sacked your Void Walker to take it from me and play it yourself. I can't take Calder complete. It's causal like I can only do CMC three or less. Oh, so you're less? Yeah. It's the Okay. But it's not Thought Seize. Never mind, then I don't concede. <laughs> that would be cool though. Uh so what we got? Endurance, Calder, two lands in Ephemerate? Yep. Alright, I'll take Ephemerate. Mm hmm. It's the only one I can take. Yeah, I wish I, I, wish I had thought Seizes. Uh. Yeah, I really wish I had some red mana right about now. Uh, I will swing Voidwalker and Cauldron, Famili Cauldron Familiar. Okay. And do I want to swing Blazing Bootwalla? Yeah, I'll swing Blazing Bootwalla too. Uh, I'll block Rootwalla and take four. Okay. And then I will... Discard... I'm just pass.
That was an endurance in your hand, right? Yep. Alright. Flooded strand. I pay one. Planes. I pay three. I cast Sword of Feast and Famine. Okay. I pay two. Equip Ice Fang Codal. And I attack for three. Oh, that is unfortunate. So then, does that connect? Yeah. All right, you discard a card, and I untap all of my lands. I will discard bone shards. Damn. Hmm. Pass. Untap. Or keep a draw. Ah. It's very nice, but I don't. Well, I guess I'll cast it. Uh, Witch's Cauldron? A uh, Witch's Oven? Mm -hmm. uh, swing four. Uh, no blocks. Take four. And pass. All right. Um, I just need a mountain. Endurance, yours. Shuffle my, or put my graveyard on the bottom. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, up to one target player puts all cards from their graveyard onto the bottom of their library. In any order. In or in a in a random order. That's a good thing or a bad thing for me. Does endurance fly? No, but it has, huh? it has reach. Now I concede. Oh, you didn't have anything? No. Okay. If I had one more mana, maybe, but... because yeah, I would sack the cat and then attack with a yeah. full 3 Yeah, I saw that. Yep. See? I've been telling people, like, Voidwalker is a fucking oh, clock. Oh, yeah. I was, I was definitely winning my turn, because I could cycle Baron more, and then Aether Hub for red, and then claim the first one. Yeah, I drew, like, a lot of lands in every single game. I was just missing red that entire game, other than the Aether Hub. I do like the Aether Hubs, but like after I use it, it feels really bad. Yeah. But I also added, uh, I just added Oborg mm. in there because I do have one, so I just proxied it. That's actually been very nice because it makes my Aether Hubs actually not useless. Wow, I didn't think that was going to win that. <laughs> Did you want, were you up for another one or was that? 
Is that it? No, I'm actually getting pretty hungry. Okay. Um, let's see. So I actually kind of don't like endurance in this build. I think it's. I just need to play rest in peace. I mean, it still or, gets rid of my graveyard. Or sanctifier, I mean. No, but like if I have it exile instead of going to your graveyard in the first place, and you can't add this. Yeah. Right. Uh, would that stop madness? Because I thought it gets discarded into exile. Would it be like a replacement effect? Maybe I'll have to look it up. Let me look at. If you if you discard this card, discard it into exile. When you do cast it for its madness cost, or put it into your graveyard. So yeah, I think it just gets discarded straight to exile. Because it says if, so I think mm -hmm. that means it's a replacement effect. But yeah, uh, rest in peace. I mean, I do have feed the swarms though. In my sideboard. Yeah. I actually mm -hmm. brought them in, but they didn't. I I figured you I figured you had rest in peace, so I was like, I'm bringing in feed the swarm in case you bring in rest in peace. Well, I was trying endurance instead because of the ephemerate combo. Yeah, I think it's not not terrible because it still gets rid of my graveyard. Um, I don't know. I think maybe this deck is fine being two separate decks, to be honest. Where can I add that? But we'll see. That was only my first time testing it. I also added, um, I have this guy on my sideboard, Gorilla Shaman. I want to see how he oh, plays yeah. out. It would it would suck for your card to complete, but like it wouldn't be bad for your um for your other swords. I'd have to pay like what five? That's a, kind of a lot, but so um if you put your one Karn in your deck and you play Gorilla Shaman, uh. You you could put liquid metal coating in your sideboard, and once you pull liquid metal metal coating from your sideboard using car, and you play it, and then every every one that you pay using oh, yeah. uh, liquid metal coating, you destroy a land. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Yeah, it's stupid. That's what uh what gruel mid range in modern does. They have four Karn, and they play Blood Moons to just really fuck you in the face. And then, uh, you know, they play all their good, like, mid rangey cards that are just all the fucking two for ones or better. Um, and then they're just like, oh, how about I also just use Gorilla Shaman and kill all your lands? If I, if I do the, um, the, the Karn Time Sea version. Maybe I'll, I'll try to get some more of those, because I think I only have one Shaman, one Gorilla Shaman. I might have more, but I also intend to build the Gruel mid mid-range deck eventually. It's just Renin 6 is $80, Oof. Yeah. and the deck uses three to four of them. Yeah. So only once I have some overtime. Well, I mean, you can buy like one to start with and then just proxy them. And then I don't see... have the rest of the deck, deck though. Oh, okay. Like, I haven't been working on it because of Red and Six. Like, I have Karn and stuff, but I don't even have a Blood Moon. Um, well, I mean, like, if you can build, like, the actual deck and then just proxy that, I don't mind playing against it. I no, it'll be a while. Like, I haven't been building it. I know, but I'm, I mean, um, like, if you decide and you get the cards... I wouldn't mind you proxying them to, to test it out. Uh, I mean, I intend to get Ren and Six anyways, because I also need it for the Escape Shift Control deck. The, like, the Bring to Light deck that could just, like, Bring to Light Valky and just do all sorts of insane shenanigans and then just Escape Shift with Titania out. Let's make a bunch of fucking 5-3s. As if Bring to Lighting, uh, Valky wasn't already busted. Oof. Yeah, because you would... Oh, does that does that work anymore? It it does. 
bring to light is one of the cars that does still work oh, without right. yeah, the... They, yeah, they only changed um, Cascade. They didn't change mm -hmm. how, like, casting the backside looks. So you'd only do, like, you just do the two, the green and the blue, because yep. you know, it's still <laughs> Valky, and you just cast the um, flip side T-Bolt T-Bolt yep. instead. Yep. God, That's kind of dumb, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, it's still a five-mana... Uh, two to four, it, but like you just you get seven. I mean, it still more, happens so. really fast. Like, yeah. I mean, if you ramp into it, yeah. It it's a ramp deck, so I would hope I could ramp into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So is that oh, it uh, for now? Yeah, that's it. 